Why, hello everyone. It's it's July, but we have news about hockey, and that's why I'm all dressed up. Of course, I'm wearing a mask, as we're all supposed to wear right now. There's a hockey playoff season happening, and they've just released information, and so, of course, we're all babysitting at home, taking care of everyone, and we're going to talk about the new playoff format, and I have an Excel file for those who've already asked for a playoff format. Please. Uh, and let's talk about it in all the games. So what we have is we have kind of a, a two. We have a two-tiered system of uh, playoffs this year. The five through twelve seeds that some of them would not have made the playoffs are going to be in this qualifying round. So what we're seeing here is we have a five-game qualifying series and. This is an Excel file that you'll be able to send out people if, uh, to people in your neighborhood or at work uh, or via email at work, I guess, via Zoom or however people work nowadays. You could send this out and people could fill this out and you could run a, a bracketed pool for the first set of games in this qualifying series with these. Um, and you've got 16 teams playing qualifying games. And then also after that, there's going to be the regular Stanley Cup playoff series with those final 16 teams, but they're allowing more teams to get in. So starting on August 1st, you've got games. And if you want to fill this thing out, you would put in your entrant name up top. Then you would... Ah, this is what happens when we all have to parent at home all day long. We're back. Uh, we choose the team that we think is going to win the five-game series. So they, there's only going to be there three, four, or five games in the series. I think St. Louis is going to win against Colorado, even though Colorado's got a good team. The games played, I think, in this series, I think this one will go five games because those are two good, good teams. How about Winnipeg and Calgary? I think Calgary is going to win. I think they'll win in four. Minnesota, I believe, shall beat uh, Bo Horvat and Sven Berti and the Canucks. I think they'll probably beat him in four. I think Arizona could sneak a win over, over Nashville here, but I don't know about that. Let's say that goes five. Then you have the Rangers versus Carolina. Yeah, Rangers could pull it off, and you know it'll go five. Uh, Florida versus the Islanders. I think the Islanders do win that. And four, I think Montreal beats an aging Pittsburgh, in my opinion. And I think that Edmonton will beat Chicago probably in like three or four. So after you fill all this out, what happens is um, you get a, a results um, grid right here. So these are all, all Ken's picks. And you can just copy this, or it's also called the Apex range up here. You can hit this and hit Apex and copy it. And then you're going to go over to the all data sheet, and you're just going to paste this stuff as values. That's one, two, three, the one right click and paste values, one, two, three. You get your picks in here. And then let's pretend that we did another pick for, for babies, perhaps, Alex there. Maybe he doesn't agree with me and thinks Winnipeg is going to win in three, and maybe he likes Florida instead of the Islanders in four. His, his picks are now right here. You copy those, you throw those down here at the second spot in the all data sheet where we keep the results. And now you have a, a way of keeping track of scoring. So you go to this master results sheet after you get everyone's picks in and in the pool that you're running after they send it all back to you and they all fill this part of it out right here, you know, the, the entry pick sheet. Uh, we have a master result. So when the games actually occur starting in August, you choose the team that won and how many games they won in, right? You do that all the way down, and as you do that, you'll start to get an answer about who won this. Now, the reason why we choose the number of games played is because it awards extra points if you guess the number of games correctly um, right. And if you're, if you're off by one, say you thought it was going to go three games and it really goes four, you still get awarded one point. There's, I'll show you where the scoring structure is so that you can change that. But I want to show you what a full list looks like. So say all these games actually happen. You get a results thing. You just go over to, um, you can see in the all data sheet, all, all this stuff already fills it in. It awards certain points based on whether you got the winner right and how many games it was. And then you can just go to the pivot standing sheet and right click and you'll see that um, that there are, you know, there are only, wow, let's refresh this. 
doesn't. I'm gonna change something in here. A lot of times it'll keep old information in here if you don't change this data to none in the pivot table um, uh, settings. You can also then go and just create a slicer for this. I'll show you how to do that. You, you right click and you go to pivot table analyze and create slicer is one of the options. And if we do it for entrant, what happens is, is you see the names of the entrants here and you can just click all the entrants and there you go. You see that Ken beat Alex by one point in our simulated playoff series where the results were St. Louis, Winnipeg, Minnesota, Nashville, Rangers, Islanders, Montreal, and Edmonton in those games specified um, over here. So this is the setup for the qualifying round. As soon as all these teams are decided, then we'll revamp this file for the actual, you know, final um, full Stanley Cup final with the, the final uh, 16 teams and uh, we'll, we'll fill all this stuff back in and then revamp the file for that. So really you can have kind of like two tournaments this year for the NHL because there's a qualifying round that looks like this in five game series and then there's the normal playoffs that look like they're coming. So hopefully uh, everybody stays as healthy as we can be and maybe they got a saying in Canada, you know, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can do this playoff thing, make this happen. If you're interested, this file will be on KenBraverman.com. I'm going to charge a little bit for it because it's good to charge for things. We can't give away things for free, but it will not be very expensive. So if you want it, you can go there and get it. And may all of our hockey games be playing. Let's hope that they happen.